Hi everyone, welcome to part three on how to interpret return on capital employed. So if you have not watched my part one and part two videos, please kindly watch it, then watch this particular video. So what we were discussing about the last two videos was that when you interpret return on capital employed, ROC will increase if numerator, the profit increase or the denominator capital employed decrease. So basically your ratio and numerator are directly proportional. That means if your numerator increases, ratio will increase. If your numerator decrease, ratio will decrease. So ROC, the numerator is operating profit or PBIT. And the denominator and ratio are inversely related. That if, if ratio increases, your denominator decrease. And if your ratio decrease, denominator increase. In this case, the denominator will be capital employed. So let's practice a few more questions to make sure you have a thorough understanding how to interpret ROCE in your ACCF financial reporting, no matter how they are being asked, how tough it is, it's pretty much simple. You identify what happened to your operating profit, what happened to your capital employed, and why it is happening. So please read this question, December 2008. And if you don't have this question, maybe you can take a screenshot of it. Victula is a public company that would like to acquire 100% of a suitable private company. It has obtained the draft financial statement for two companies, Grappa and Merlot. Once again, we are discussing how to interpret ROCE when you're comparing two organization for the purpose of acquisition. So now let's, I told you, I have calculated the ratios so this calculation you will have to do in your examination. No matter, even if your calculation is wrong, if your interpretation is correct, you will get the marks. So don't break too much head on how to calculate. Even if your calculation is wrong, you're just going to lose only half mark for that. Interpretation is the key. But show your workings. If your workings, if you show your workings, even if your workings are wrong, you just lose half mark, but you will get the entire mark for your interpretation, provided you have shown the workings like I have shown here, how you got it. So return on capital employed of Grappa is 14.8, whereas return on capital employed of Merlot is 20.9. So you either think from the point of view of Grappa or think from the point of view of Merlot. So Grappa's, if you're thinking from the point of view of Grappa, Grappa's ROC is lower. And I told you if Grappa's ROC is lower, then the numerator operating profit of Grappa will be lower. Or capital employed, the denominator, it is inversely related, it will be higher. Or if you're thinking from the point of view of Merlot, Merlot's ROC is higher. So the numerator and ratio is proportionately related, directly related. So if Merlot's ROC is higher, operating profit of Merlot will be higher. Whereas capital employed, the denominator and ratio is inversely related. So capital employed will be lower. So just go and read the scenario and prove that Either operating profit of Grappa is lower or capital employed is higher or operating profit of Merlot is higher or capital employed is lower. You can do either way. Think from the view of Grappa or think from the point of Merlot. So now let's start thinking from their view. How much is their operating profit? Operating profit of Merlot is 1000 whereas Grappa is 900. So the operating profit of Grappa is lower. So if operating profit of Grappa is lower, definitely the ROC will be lower. So the reason for lower ROCE of Grappa is lower operating profit. So then read the scenario anywhere if there is any other information given to prove why operating profit is lower, no. 
So you're simply right. Grappa is having a lower ROC because its operating profit is lower. You will get one mark for there. If there is anything in that scenario, you have to very specifically state operating profit is lower because of this reason, but it is not there. So don't bother, you got one mark. How easy is it? Now we have to check the capital employed. So capital employed of Grappa to have an ROC lower, it should be higher. So go and check the capital employed of Grappa. Is it higher? Yes. To know about capital employed, you have to look at three places. Place number one, check the known current asset. Place number two, check the equity, particularly the revaluation surplus or maybe equity shares if they have been issued. So mostly it will be equity shares or revaluation surplus. In this case, it is basically revaluation surplus. And in third one, if there is any non-current liability, you have to consider that also. So in this question, there is no non-current liability. So you don't have to consider that. So now consider the first one, asset. The assets of Grappa are pretty much higher than Merlot because they have a factory plant, they have a factory and they also own a plant. Whereas Merlot does not own the plant. So the total assets of Grappa is higher. So if total asset is higher, capital employed will be higher. If capital employed is higher, ROC will be lower. So you can rewrite your next point. ROC of Grappa is lower due to higher capital employed because Grappa has more known current asset. Grappa, then you dissect it. Grappa has a freehold factory, whereas Merlot don't have it. Then also check your equity, particularly whether there has been any revaluation in Grappa. Yes, property has been revalued. Property of Grappa has been revalued, whereas Merlot was not revalued. So if there is revaluation surplus, equity increases. If equity increases, capital employed also increase. If capital employed increase, ROC will reduce. So we have one more reason. ROC of Grappa is lower because it, ha it has revaluation surplus which results in more capital employed and which in turn result in lower ROC. Simple, that's over. Now let's read the interpretation. Return on capital employed of Merlot. Now I just, you, I'm just going to use the other way. Return on capital employed, I'm thinking from the point of Merlot. You can also think the, from the point of Grappa. I told you, I thought from the point of view of Grappa, explain it. Now, if you're writing your answer from the point of Merlot, this is how you have to write. Return on capital employed of Merlot is higher than as compared to Grappa, zero marks. Even if in BPP, even if it in Kaplan, even if in ACC answer, even here in my notes, it is their zero mark. They are not interested in stating it is higher or lower. They're interested in stating why. So there can be two reasons for this. Higher profits, I'm now talking about Merlot. So Merlot, if it has higher ROC, the reason is that it has got more profit because numerator and ratio are directly related and denominator and ratio are inversely related. There can be two reasons for this. One higher profit and second one lower capital employed. Now we have to prove from the scenario that this is the reason. So that they will give mark from proving this that Merlot is having higher profit and Merlot is having lower capital employed. Prove it from the scenario. That is a mark. Simply writing this won't fetch you marks. So prove it from the scenario. So right, Merlot's operating profit is much lower as compared to Grappa. Is it? Let's look. So this is not causing higher ROC. Okay, next. Grappa's factory, same thing. Grappa's factory is at current value. This will adversely affect Grappa's ROZ. Merlot not revalued. Merlot capital employed is pretty much lower compared to Grappa, resulting in a higher ROC for Merlot. And Merlot does not own its premises where Grappa does. And again, so Merlot's capital employed is pretty much lower compared to Grappa, resulting higher ROC for Merlot. As simple as that. 
So you can either compare from the point of view, don't write both, compare either from the point of view of Merlot or compare from the point of view of Grappa. So I hope you have understood how to write that. Moving forward to a more uh, a detailed question that has been asked in December 2009. So let's look into December 2009 and practice this particular question. The following information related to Crosswire, a publicly listed company. Information from the income statement for the year ended. 30th September 2008, it's 3000. And current year in 2009, it's 4000. So profit has actually increased. So if profit increase, since it is numerator, your ROC should increase because numerator and ratio are directly proportional. During the year to 30th September 2009, that is during the current year, that is during the current year, Crossware impact on a replacement and expansion program of its known current assets. So they're just going to buy more known current assets. So if they buy more known current asset, the total assets will increase. If total asset increases, capital employed also increase. Cap when capital employed, the denominator increase, ROC will fall. So we have to check what is happening. So just read the question, continue reading the question. The details of the program are as follows. On 1st October 2008, so our financial year ending is 30th September 2009. And in the beginning of year, that is on 1st October 2008, Crossword acquired a platinum mine. So they bought a new mine, a, they bought a new known current asset at a cost of 5 million, 500,000. A condition for mining the platinum is a requirement to landscape mining site at the end of its estimated life of 10 years. The present value of this cost at the date of purchase was calculated at 3 million in addition to the purchase price of mine of 5 million. So according standard 16 says that the present value of any site restoration or decommissioning cost should be capitalized. So now you'll have to capitalize the purchase cost of 5 million as well as present value of the site restoration or landscaping, 3 million. So that means basically your increase in your net, sorry, in your asset is 8 million. So your capital employed has increased by 8 million, a substantial increase, whereas your profit has increased only 4,000 in thousands. So if you do not millions in thousands, when your asset has increased by 8,000, your profit for the year has only increased by 1,000. So your, that means your numerator, the profit has increased by 1,000, while your denominator has increased by 8,000. So the increase in denominator is much more than increase in uh, numerator. That means increase in capital employed is much more than increase in your profit. So definitely it is going to affect ROC adversely. So mostly your ROCE will fall. So let's continue this discussion. Let's read the next paragraph. As on 1st October 2008, again on the beginning of the year, Crossware revalued reputation its freeholds land for the first time. The credit in revaluation reserve is a net amount of revaluation after a transfer to defer tax gain, whatever. There has been a revaluation. So if you have been watching my past videos on how to interpret ROC, you know that whenever there is revaluation surplus, the equity increases. If equity increases, your capital employed increase. And if capital employed increase, capital employed being the numerator increasing, it will adversely affect your ROC. Denominator and ratios are inversely related. 
So if capital employed increase, ROC will fall. Let's read the next question, next paragraph, not next question, sorry, next paragraph. On 1st April 2009, so our year starts on October. So October, November, December, January, February, March. After six months, during the middle of the year, something is happening. What is that? Let's read it. On 1st April 2009, Crossware took out a finance lease for some plan. The value of plan was 10 million lease agreement provided for initial payment. So again, there is lease. So if during the mid of the year, you are taking on a lease, lease finance lease means is a not short term lease. You have to show it as an asset in the books of Messi. I have uploaded a video on IFRS 16 leases as well as in my YouTube channel. So you can go to the playlist. There is a playlist known as ACCAFR. Go through that playlist. You can find that video, IFRS leasing. If you're not familiar with the treatment of lease, maybe you can learn it from that video. So leased asset should be shown as an asset. So again, when you're showing it as an asset, what happens? Your asset increase. If your asset increase, your capital employed increase. Capital employed is denominator. So if denominator increase, it will inversely affect your ratio. So it will result in reduction of ROC. Or you can also think the other way, lease. We have to show it as a non-current liability. We'll have to split current as well. But normally it will be a non-current liability as well as current liability. Anyway, there's a non-current liability part. Lease obligation is there, lease liability is there, non-current liability. So it increases. Your lease liability increase, your non-current liability increase. Capital employed, there's an equation, equity plus non-current liability. So your non-current liability increase, if your non-current liability increase, your capital employed increase. If capital employed increase being the denominator, it will have an inverse effect on your ROC. ROC will decrease. So you can write that point also. See how simple is that? You just write like this. No need to break your head. BBB, Kaplan, ACC answer. This is the simplest way. You can get full marks. Now let's read the question. A substantial shareholders has written to directors of Gross Wire expressing particular concerns over deterioration of companies ROCE. That means company's ROCE has decreased. Calculate ROC for the two years entered. I'm not discussing that. Basically, ROC has decreased. And comment on the cause of deterioration. So we have just discussed why ROC has decreased. Let's quickly go to the interpretation part. The land revaluation has increased carrying amount of PPE. This distorts current year asset turnover and ROC. Acquisition of platinum mine appears to be a new area of operation, same thing. Substantial acquisition of lease plan, those three reasons are contributing to the lower ROCE. So in short, the fall of ROC may be due to largely due to the above factors rather than to the poor operating performance of the company. So we have proved. I hope you are gaining confidence step by step when you're watching my video. If you are gaining confidence, just give me your likes and comments so that I know that you, you have been, this video has was helpful for you. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, make to subscribe to this channel and press on that notification bar. I'll be uploading further videos on how to interpret ROCE. Thank you everyone. All the best for your upcoming ACCA financial reporting examination.